Okay, so today we're going to make this cup. And I wish I could remember the lady's name who originally I watched do one of these so I could thank her and tell her this is probably my all time favorite cup now that I've made. Um, so I started off with a white based cup and then I went over it with Rust-Oleum two times ultra cover gloss seaside. Okay. Then what you will also need is a brush like this, just a little 99 cent brush. Um, it's very hard. I'm using raw sienna from Michaels. Just regular black from Michaels. And then can't remember, it wasn't that one. I believe it was Native Turquoise, let's see. I think it was this one, Ocean Breeze. So that's what you'll need to make it. So all you're going to do is get a sheet of paper, put you a little bit of paint, So, let me see. That's all you're going to need. And you're not even going to use all of that. Okay. So, you're going to take your cup, start with your black. Now, what you're going to do is you're not going to dunk it, you're just going to get the tips. So, just get the tips in the paint and then blot off any excess and then let's see you're just going to start to do stuff like that just ugly little streaks some in the middle just kind of do them all over you don't want to be real heavy-handed And then don't forget your bottom. Cute. What? Your little robot. Okay. So that's what you're going to do. You're not going to clean your brush. Then you're just going to go ahead and go to your brown. Kendall, put a shirt on.
there. So, when that happens, keep your handy dandy little facial wipes. See? Looks like my cup just had diarrhea. So, what we'll do is we'll go back over it with some black. So there's no real, don't forget your bottom, method to this cup. Um, it's just making sure that you don't go real heavy handed. Okay, so that's what she's going to look like. Now, the only reason why I had this ocean breeze turquoisey color, which was the closest I had at my house to this color, um, was because when I initially did this one, I got a little crazy and I needed to bring out some more of this color but this one I've actually done better on um, there's not streaks all over it to where the blue or the whatever color this is isn't showing through so I won't need to take that paint to it And kind of go around the rim and just kind of brush down with any excess paint that you have left flies love summertime um, any excess that you have left on your brush so that it gives it the distressed look all the way around the rim very easy doesn't take long at all as you can see so once that's done once it's dried which doesn't take long at all you can make whatever decal you choose if you choose to put one on I did the cowgirl up which is a free design on design space if you are a Cricket machine person like I am um, and you have your monthly subscription it's a free image to cut um, so go ahead cut out whatever you're gonna do put it on there you do not need to epoxy this first put your decal on your cup and then epoxy it you don't need to seal the paint you don't need to do anything just let it dry 
put your decals and put your epoxy and you will have something like this which I love I'm going to experiment with different colors um, to see what other looks I can get from this technique so I hope you guys like it um, show me your cups once you've finished them and stay tuned for more videos what do we say I forgot. I forgot. what do you say um, like like and subscribe to the videos and make sure to stay tuned our videos thumbs up, thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you guys so much